This video is made possible by Spencer Shipley at Packy Webb Ford in Downers Grove, Illinois. Spencer is dedicated to finding the right car for you in the quickest time possible. Give him a call or contact him with the information up on the screen or found in the description below. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2018 Jaguar F-Type Base. Up front is a 2.0 liter turbocharged inline four. Down below is an eight speed automatic transmission. Now I'm excited to be driving this here Jag for one reason only in the fact that I've never driven one of these before. I've always loved the look of them and I've been around them. I've ridden in a V8 convertible, but I've never actually driven one. So I figured I might as well start off at the base model and work my way up. Now, before we get on to the rest of the video, if you guys are interested in selling your car, please click the link in the description below cashforcars.com will buy your car with a salvage title good title running non-running whatever it is please go support the channel by clicking the link in the description below you can get a fast and easy quote for free and they will pick up your vehicle in less than 24 hours so let's get back to that two liter inline four it makes almost 300 horsepower i'll put the horsepower and torque up on the screen this is the base model and the lowest tier of the f-type and it's okay it packs a decent punch for what it is but just knowing that this car doesn't have the big v8 is a little bit of a letdown however it is a base model so you get what you pay for all right now that we're warmed up dynamic mode let's uh see what it'll do it does all right it's not really anything mind-blowing it's not going to be super fast it honestly feels kind of like an EcoBoost Mustang, kind of feels like a hopped up Focus ST, which is good. Those cars are quick and they're very fun to drive. And this car is quick and it's fun to drive, but getting that Jaguar name, I expect uh, just a little bit more. It does have a, some good crackles from the exhaust, but again, it's not that punch that I'm looking for from a Jag. Like I said, paired to it is an eight speed automatic transmission. And so far I've been driving it around. I don't really notice any issues with it. It seems to be shifting fine. And eight speed is definitely a very modern transmission. And so there's not much to write home about. Last but not least, the F-Type is rear wheel drive. However, there is an all wheel drive version offered. Specifically with the V8, you can get a V8 all-wheel drive F-Type, which I think is really, really cool. Actually, one last thing I want to talk about with the drivetrain is the ride quality. It's not great. That's the first thing I noticed with this car getting into it, besides the interior we'll talk about in a second. But the ride quality isn't amazing for the money that I'm going to spend on this car. So just something to keep in mind. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the interior, my favorite part of the F-Type. Well, in front of me, I have two physical gauges. On the left is my speedometer and on the right is my tachometer. And then in the center, I get a nice little information screen. This is typical of most Jaguars. They have this information screen and I like it. It gives me a lot of good info. It's slightly customizable and it lets me know what I need to know. On the steering wheel on the left, I have my controls for that center screen, as well as my phone options. And on the right, I have my heated steering wheel and cruise control options. Around the back of the steering wheel, I do have paddle shifters, which I quite like. It gives you a little bit more of a sporty feel. And to the left of me, I have my gauge dimmer switches, trunk release, lane keep, and my lights. On the door, I have three different memory seats. I absolutely love that. Lock and unlock my seat adjustments. And then my mirror switches, power windows, and I have this really nice Meridian speaker in the door. This has a Meridian sound system, which I think is a really, really good sound system. I like it a lot. And it's found in more premium vehicles have the Meridian sound. Moving into the center, up top, I actually have climate control vents. So when the climate controls are off, this is hidden away. But when they come on, the vents rise out of the center. A little gimmicky, but I like the fanfare. I like the show of it. It looks cool. Now, moving on to the screen below those cool, cool vents. Now, this car does not have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, which I would have liked to have seen, especially for this price point. You know, around $50,000, I should have something as simple as Apple CarPlay, which is found in the same year, Kia Rio. It is touchscreen. It has really nice transitions between pages, very high frame rate, which I like. And overall, this feels very premium. I have a couple fun little options in here, like cameras, 
control apps, valet mode, contacts, Bluetooth. One feature in the center screen that I really love is the cameras button. So I can tap this and I can just toggle on the rear facing camera whenever I want. I can also slightly change the view, turn my parking beepers on and off, couple settings for that. And overall, I really, really like that. There's also a physical button for the cameras as well to the left of the screen, which I just love this feature. I think if cars have cameras, they should let you look at them almost whenever you want. Maybe not doing 105 down the highway, but you know, in a parking lot or driving slow, I think it's smart that they let you toggle it on and off. Down below the center screen, I have three different climate control knobs, very symmetrical here for my fan speed, dual zone, and the heated seats. Just like Audi, when you press in one of the knobs, then it functions as your heated seat knob, push it in again, and then it functions as the climate control knob. I love dual purpose knobs. It really cleans up the interior, keeps it looking nice and fresh without having a million and a half buttons like Porsche suffers from. Below that, I do have more climate control options. I love these toggle switches. They have these nice little rubber pads on them for auto, AC, my hazards, front and rear defrosters and max AC things of that sort. And then we get into the center console itself. The start stop button is up by my kneecap, which I really, really like. I think this is where start stop buttons should be. Very sporty. Then I have the shifter itself. The shifter feels fine. It's a little weird because it's like push button for park and actually move it for reverse and drive. It's okay. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but I've learned to just not care about these shifters. To the right of the shifter is the volume knob. Absolutely love the placement of this. I think all volume knobs should be down by the shifter because that's where I naturally rest my hand. And then to the left of that, I have a couple different drive modes. So I have normal, of course. Then I do have snow mode, rain, ice, and snow mode confirmed. And then if I move it down, I have dynamic mode, which is sport mode. And a little race flag comes up. <laughs> Below all of that, I have my power parking brake automatic start stop, my rear spoiler up and down, trash control and a little coin holder or something just to keep the center console symmetrical. Then we do have two openable cup holders. So of course we'll do the big friggin' bottle test. And unfortunately the Jaguar F-Type does not pass the big friggin' bottle test, but I don't know of any sports car that really does. So that's pretty much par for the course. <laughs> Now we gotta talk about the seats. The seats are nice and comfortable. They are leather. They have these Alcantara inserts in them, which I really, really like. They're the perfect size in which they have high bolsters, so they keep me in when I'm cornering, but they're not so high bolstered that it's uncomfortable to get in and out of. I really think that this is sort of the sweet spot for seats, and I'm very, very happy about that. But we don't have any back seats, so we can't do a back seat review, but we will walk around the back and take a look at the trunk. All right, so we're on the back of the Jaguar F-Type power tailgate, which is a very nice feature. Something I didn't expect out of a base model, but it is a power tailgate with a button up here to actually close it again. However, that being said, kind of a narrow trunk. Uh, you're not gonna fit a whole lot back here. I can pull this up. Got some plate mounting hardware and the floor mats, but other than that, I mean, it's not super wide in here. Not really impressive. I like the power tailgate and I'm glad at least it has a trunk area but really you're not gonna fit a whole lot in there. Now we gotta talk about the looks. I love the look of the F-Type. When I was pulling this out of Packy Webb's dealership, I saw my own reflection and it gave me a big smile and that doesn't happen with all cars. I feel very cool in this. I feel like this is something that people don't see all the time. It's definitely very sporty. I love the wheels, the white with the wheels and overall I just think this looks like, kind of like a Jaguar, kind of like a, a hissing cat, something that might pounce on you. And even though this isn't the V8, so it doesn't get all of the cool little aero bits on it, I still think it's a really, really good looking vehicle. And this is something that I could pull up in and, and feel cool, feel proud of. Maybe I'll turn a head or two, even though it is only a four cylinder, maybe I'll still get a look or two. 
Speaking of exteriors, if you are legally required to run a front plate on your vehicle in the state or country that you live in, but you think it's too ugly, then click the link in the description below and get yourself a con plate. The con plate holder is a suction cup holder for your license plate that goes on the inside of your windshield. This means you can remain legal when driving around, but for pictures, for shows, it's easily removable from the windshield, so the front of your car looks its best. Click the link in the description below, get your own con plate, and keep your car looking good. Now we gotta talk about the Jaguar F-Type as a whole. Well, I have a couple of different thoughts on this car. Let's start off with the negative. I'm not a big fan of the engine. Yes, it's sporty, and it's not a slouch. It's going to move. It's going to be fun to drive around town, sure. But this car is priced at $43,000 right now. It doesn't feel quick for $43,000. The other thing I'm not a big fan of is the ride quality. I don't think it rides that well. It rides a little bit harsh, again, to not be backed up by that power. If this was a Porsche 911 GT3, I'd say, oh yeah, give me the harshest ride possible, of course. That's a track weapon. But this, this isn't a track weapon. And it rides like a much cheaper vehicle. And the last thing, getting back to that engine, is just knowing that there's a V8 out there that's way better, that there's a way better version of the F-Type, that would keep me up at night. Now let's talk about the things that I do like. I really like this interior. I love this sunroof up above me. I think it adds really, really good light throughout the vehicle, makes it feel more premium. I like the heated steering wheel. I like the paddle shifters. I love the center console. The center stack is really, really nice. Makes me feel sort of sporty, sort of like this is a driver's oriented vehicle, which, you know, it should be. I love the seats. The seats hold me in really well and they are warming me right now on this 33 degree day. So I think really my final consensus is that the engine isn't good, but the interior is great. I really like being in here. This is a nice place to be. It's comfortable, it's up to date, even though this is 2018, three years old at this point. I think the tech in here is up to par. I think it's well designed, and I think it's aged really, really well in the three short years that this car has been around. So there it is. If you want a comfortable cruising car to go to the office, then this is a great car for you. But if you want something to tear up the canyons on the weekend, something you're gonna bring to the track, something you're gonna show off at a car show, get the V8. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Packy Webb Ford and Spencer Shipley for letting me take out their Jaguar F-Type. I'm so happy I was able to get behind the wheel. Spencer is absolutely awesome. The whole staff at Packy Webb Ford is absolutely awesome. Super helpful, down to earth people. They are excited to get you into a new car that'll fit your lifestyle. So if this Jaguar F-Type is not your lifestyle, they have tons and tons of new cars on the lot at all times. Super excited. They have a bunch of fun cars. They have Porsches, they have Challengers, Chargers, Mustangs. They have the new GT350 on the lot right now. Super fun, super exciting stuff. So please reach out to Spencer if you are looking for a new or used car. He should be your first call. Call him up, say, hey, what do you have? and he will work out a deal with you that I think you'll like. He's been absolutely awesome through and through. We've been working together for a couple months and I can't say enough good things about him. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.